Someone gave this Optima battery to me for free. They had it. They said they got it in about four or five years ago. It's not holding charge. He wasn't sure why. He said, you want it? I said, yeah, man, I'll take it. First thing I like to do before we try to restore this thing, is I want to see what it's actually sitting at. So let's take a voltage reading. I have not done anything to this battery. Just got it in my hands. Got a multimeter. So let's see what this is actually sitting at. Four point nine nine volts. <laughs> Got a load tester here. I'm gonna put a load test on it. I'm sure it's gonna fail. So what you do this is you um, hook it up. Obviously, obviously red to positive, black to negative. I'll give you a reading right here. It says weak. Can you guys see that weak? Then you press down this button right here for ten seconds. And right here, when it's strong, or actually you'll see it move around. Just falls to zero. That's about 10 seconds there. Weak. Falls to zero. The load testing elements are in here, so this actually gets, this top part actually gets really warm. I'll put links in the description below to all these tools I use. The load tester, the voltmeter. But, let's see. Um, I'm very interested if I can get my NoCo Genius charger to charge this battery up. So let's find out. It might accept it, it might not. Let's find out. Got my NoCo Genius charger right here, the G7200. Plug it into power before you hook it up to anything. I'm gonna clean up these terminals on the battery. Just got this little uh, handy dandy battery terminal cleaner. Just like that. Okay, so cool thing about this NoCo is it has different options, right? So right here you can see uh, 12 volt normal 12 volt cold AGM so that's when you're using that's if a lead acid battery is cold or you're using a, a absorbed glass mat which the optimal battery is and you have 24 volt setting um, it can also uh, desulfate batteries which is the repair mode right here it can supply a current um, uh, supply a consistent current so let's say you were working on a car and you didn't want to lose any of the information in any of the computers or the monitors, you could hook this up to the battery or the terminals, or you can actually plug it in the cigarette lighter, and it keeps memory into the car, which is really cool. To get to the different modes, you hook it up, and then this battery right here with the proton-looking, neutron, electron-looking thing, you press that, and it'll cycle through the modes um, of what you're trying to do. So we'll be using the uh, AGM Cold 12-volt, See if we can get this Optima battery to restore. But I'll put a link in the description below to this thing. They actually just came out with a new one. NoCo came out with a new charger. It's all black. Looks pretty bitchin'. Maybe I'll pick it up. I don't know. I've had this thing for 15, 16 plus years. It's never failed me. So, let's get the terminals connected. The cool thing about NoCo is if I was, so obviously this is your negative, this is your positive. If I was to switch these around, the charger won't even come on. It won't damage anything in the charger. So, let me show you that. So this is positive. This is negative. I'm actually going to switch it around. See right there? Put on the red light, telling me there's a problem. I can't do that. You can't do that. Fix it, you idiot. So, put them back around to the correct way. Red to positive, black to negative, goes into the cold AGM 12 volt setting. And you'll see right here the different percentages, 25, 50, 75, 100. Now since this battery is so low, it might take days for this battery to come back to life, if at all. So, like I said, the guy said it wasn't holding a charge, asked me if I want to get it out of there, if I wanted it. I said, yeah, heck yeah, dude. Make a video for my, my fellow YouTubers out there probably like six o'clock on Monday the 14th so uh, we'll come back here a couple hours see what's going on the NoCo charger is still at 25% AGM setting but you can see the profile it's trying to shove volts in there so it's gone up to 7.4 jumping to about 16.42 so it's coming up if the battery gets hot on any of the sides while you're doing this most likely 99% 
of the time you have a uh, bad sell. About 9.30, three and a half hours later from when we started, came back out and uh, it's gone to um, an error. There is an error. So next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check the voltage here on the battery, see if it's high enough. I might need to um, bring in a secondary battery to uh, charge. Do I bring this up to a charge? Kind of use it as a buffer to bring the Optima back to life. But let's see where the uh, Optima sits as far as as far as voltage, 8.57. That's a little bit better than what we started with. Let me bring in a different battery. I'm gonna bring in a lead acid battery that I have and then uh, hook up uh, the lead acid to the Optima with some jumper cables. And then I'll put the NOCO Genius charger back on and see if I can get this to get to like 10, 10 or 11 volts. And I'll try to use the NOCO directly onto the Optima to see if I can get it back to life. The Red Top Optima is a good battery. I know it's good. I'm going to try to get this Yellow Top up to 10 volts and then try to put a charge in it. But I want to see what it's sitting at now with them hooked up. 12.6, 12.16. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is get the NoCo Genius charger on here, charge it, just plug it in, charge it like I'm charging one battery on 12 volt setting. See if I can get this battery up to um, 10 volts at least, and then take the NOCO off of this setup and charge it directly to the yellow top. This is just going from negative to negative, positive to positive. Plug it in. So basically what I'm trying to do is trick the charger into thinking that this is a good battery above you know 10 volts by using this one in series, using the jumper cables, and uh, charging it that way. So, but yeah, let's uh, let this sit for like an hour and I'll come back. So as you can see right there, I just fast forwarded it, but it's going through some kind of strange, I've never seen this happen before with the NOCO Genius Charger. It's going through some kind of cycle where it goes from 25 to 50, 75 to 100 pretty quickly. Gets to 100 and looks like it's about to finish and it goes back to 25%. I guess it doesn't like this setup. I know this battery is good. This one, trying to recharge it. I'm actually gonna pop this off, the charger off. I wanna see where this battery's sitting. Ten point three six. Okay, so let me try putting on the charger just by itself here. To the yellow top. Okay, so I was able to get the yellow top above 10 volts using this battery, good known battery, with the NOCO Genius Charger. I'm gonna see if I can get the, get the battery completely charged now that it's above 10 volts. See if it'll come back on the home stretch. Hopefully it will. If not, if, it, if I can revive it, it comes back, I'll put it in my car. Well, it's about 7 a.m. the next day. I checked the uh, battery and charging setup uh, last night before I went to bed. And uh, it was looking like it was trying to charge it, but come out here this morning and uh, it's freaking out. Doesn't want to charge. So I'm going to set it to repair mode right here. Uh, where is it? Repair. I'm going to set it to repair mode, see if uh, that'll do something to the battery. And uh, if that doesn't work, then uh, this Optima Yellow Top is shot. Okay. Got down into repair mode, just holding the little proton sign right here. I don't know if I'm going to show you guys this video. It's giving me this bad indicator, like the battery is bad, so this battery is shot. I think this is a 20-year-old battery. It says made in uh, Colorado still, and, and um, Optimas have not been made in the United States since the year 2000. Usually this, this charger can you know bring back a lot of stuff, but there are sometimes when batteries are just shot. Just shot and uh, not worth, uh, or can't be, can't be fixed, can't be brought back to life. It's just dead. Sometimes things just die, and you can't bring them back to life.